Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while since I haven't filmed a YouTube video. I want to say it's been about maybe six months? October? Yeah, I think it's gonna be like six months or something like that. I had just been lazy. I didn't want to take anything out. I was just not in the mood, so I wasn't filming anything. But right now, since we are home and we can't go out with all this thing going on, I just figured I would just come and film since I was not doing anything. Even my husband told me like right now it's when you should film because you're not doing anything. You're just bored at home. We can go out. We can go like grocery shopping and stuff but we can't really like be going out to places. So I just figured I would sit here and you know just film. So I'm just going to be doing a simple makeup look. And yeah, before you get started, please make sure you subscribe to my channel, turn on that notification bell, and give it a thumbs up at the end if you like the video. So let's go ahead and get started. By the way, if you're wondering what I'm drinking, it's a keto smoothie that I would talk about in another video, along with some keto stuff that I've been doing. Okay, so first of all, what I want to do is I'm just going to be grabbing my hair back. As you guys can see, well, you can't really tell on camera but I did dye my hair again I did have the balayage on my hair if you guys remember like six months ago I still have it but I just went lighter and it is a little bit ashier on the ends and right here on camera it looks a little bit dark but it is a little bit lighter I did choose a lighter color just because I felt like the other one was a little bit too dark for this kind of like tone so now that I put my hair back why do I feel like this looks dark does it look okay okay so first of all I'm gonna be I already prepped my skin and everything I think I should do like a update skin routine because I've been totally changing my skin products and I love them so I think I'll talk I think I will talk about that in another video so for my skin you all know that I love the primer water I've been using this forever and I'm still using it I have a bunch of these little sample sizes they're not sample sizes they're like travel sizes and I do have a big bottle but I just been using these because they're just tiny and they fit anywhere so I'm gonna be spraying my skin with this I totally love this even on days that I don't wear makeup, I just come and spray this because I just feel like my skin kind of like, it freshens up and it moisturizes and it hydrates. Okay, so now that I have that on, I need to go to my primer because this is a primer water, but I don't feel like it works as a primer primer. I just like it because it gives hydration to your skin and it kind of like, you know, freshens, freshens it up. So for my primer... I've been using the Hungover. This is a Too Faced Hungover Primer. I'm almost out of this. I'm pretty sure I have another bottle somewhere there. I haven't really looked into my makeup and see what I have because I've just been using whatever's on this box. And I haven't really been using makeup a lot. Only if I go out or I have an event or something like that. I've been kind of giving my skin a little break. So while that is setting there... I'm going to be doing my eyeshadow because that's just the way I do it. I do my eyes first and then I move on to the rest of my skin. So for my base, I'm not using concealer anymore on my lids. I used to wear concealer on my lids. But now I'm using the MAC Paint Pot and this is in the shade Painterly. So it just looks like this. A lot of people use this either painterly or soft ochre, but I feel like painterly matches more to my skin tone. I feel like soft ochre is a little bit more like yellowish. So I am going to be applying this all over my eyelid. And I'm just using this brush. This is a Morphe brush, but I don't know which one it is because it worn off like the letters. So I'm going to be applying this on my eyelid. See how it cancels like all my little veins and stuff that you can see? That's why I like this base. And I was noticing when I was using the concealer, I, don't get me wrong, I know a lot of people do that, but 
I was noticing on my skin that I was getting um, like little creases around here. So I tried something new and I actually like this better. So now that I have this, I'm just going to let it sit there for a little bit. You don't have, the thing that I like about this is that you don't have to set it with a powder. If you want to work on your eyes faster, you could set it up with a powder. I sometimes do it. It depends if I'm in a hurry or if I'm not. I don't do it all the time, but if you wanted to, you could set it with a powder just so it can be dry. But this one dries on by itself. You just have to like tap it and if it's dry, you're ready to go. Okay, so like I said for my eye makeup today, I'm going to be doing something very natural. So I'm going to be using the Modern Renaissance. The Anastasia Modern Renaissance, which looks like this. I like this one because it has a bunch of like nude browns. That's usually what I go for if just I, if I just want to do something like natural. For some of you, this may not be natural. For me, it's a little bit like... I'm in like neutral colors, like brownish, um, terracotta shades, stuff like that. If my sister-in-law comes in right now, she's going to be so shocked that I'm actually filming because she's been telling me Liz you need to film you need to film your subscriber sneak videos but I've just been lazy like taking everything out putting it back away it's I'm just lazy so I think I'm gonna be I'm gonna remove this brush because it's annoying me because it's just sitting there so for my crease color I'm gonna be using this one which is called burnt orange I really don't think that looks like a burnt orange but that's the name of it so I'm going to go for it. I'm going to use this um, Jeffree Star mirror just because it's easier for me to see right here. So I'm going to be applying this all over my crease. So yeah, with all this going on with the virus and stuff, um, you guys should stay home. I know I've been going out, but mainly just to find groceries because it's been so crazy here where I live. I live in Texas way south texas and people here go crazy i i don't understand why you want to hoard on like toilet paper napkins and all that like I, I just think it's crazy go to the store just buy what you need that way everybody can get something because people right here they're acting like if this is gonna last i don't know for years i mean i don't know how long it's gonna last but hopefully it just passes on like it just passes super quick because people here go crazy okay so now that I have that on my lids as you guys can see it's a super natural shade I'm gonna be moving on to this is real gar this is a shade right here on the corner it's like an orangey one and I'm gonna be applying this on the outer V of my eyelid and then just work it into the crease. Oh, I love that shade. So pretty. It's like a brick color, I want to say. So yeah, as I was saying, um, I hope this passes super quick because people here are going crazy. There's nothing in the stores. Yesterday we went to HED, which is a just supermarket here in texas if you live in texas you know what i'm talking about um we had to make line to go in the store i thought that was crazy because i think they were only letting in people um by small amounts i guess because you can't be with more than 10 people i don't know but they were just um letting in a few people at a time we were lucky we found bread I don't eat bread because I'm on keto, but my husband loves sandwiches, my mother-in-law, my sister-in-law. So we just wanted to get stuff, you know, that you can eat basically um, every day just in case something happens. So let me just go ahead and show you guys what I'm going to be doing on this inner part right here. I'm going to be using this shade right here, which is called Primavera. It has a little bit of a shimmer to it. I really don't want anything crazy right here. So I'm going to be applying this. Just like that. And then I'm going to be going back in with the crease shade that we used, which was burnt orange. And I'm just going to be blending all this. So yeah, like I was saying, we were lucky that we found stuff. We found water and stuff. But these past days, you couldn't find anything. It was so hard 
it was so hard I know people make fun of me because I cook for my dogs if I want to eat healthy I want my dogs to eat healthy too so I have been cooking for my dogs I don't know it's been like several months I want to say I got my sister-in-law to do it and actually one of my clients she got me to do it because it's just more natural and there's no byproducts on the food and stuff so I was so frustrated because I couldn't find anything for my dogs like chicken, brown rice. I still can't find brown rice, but I already found um, chickpeas, which you can substitute. So that's great. But yeah, it's 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 been it's been so weird here because literally you can't find anything. Okay, so I have this right now. I'm going to. I'm sorry if I'm all, all over the place, but I just it's just weird to be looking at the camera because I haven't done this in a while, but. I'm going to be moving on to my face and then do my lashes later. So for my skin, I already primed it. You saw that. So now for my foundation, I received this on the um, Influencer app. You make service and stuff and then they send you like free stuff to test. I got this Lancome. This Lancome skin. Skin feels good. Um, sunscreen, hydrating, healthy glow foundation i think it's a foundation i hope it's a foundation yes it's a foundation and it's oil free and it's an spf 23 i haven't used it so i hope this matches my skin if it doesn't we'll just have to go along with it i haven't tried this i wanted to test it out Ooh, it feels like watery not watery but it feels super light maybe this is like a bb cc cream it says it's a foundation but it looks super light coverage which maybe i will like for like an in for like an everyday look it's not really covering anything maybe this is just like a tint moisturizer we'll just work with it and then we'll just put like our foundation our concealer and stuff it almost feels like it melts into your skin like watery yeah that other one was doing nothing to me i feel like that is more like for teenagers that just want to like cancel out maybe like redness or actually not redness because it wasn't even covering a lot maybe it's just like you know everyday look i feel like it's more like a tinted moisturizer because that was not covering anything on my skin okay this one looks way way better I've used this one before so I know that I like it. I'm just going to wipe away my lips because right now I'm looking kind of dead. Okay, now that we've passed through that disaster, which I give this a no-no for me. I don't know. I think I'll give it on. I'll give it to my... My sister doesn't even wear makeup. I, I'll give it on. I'll give it to someone. Okay, so for my concealer, I'm going to be using the Morphe Concealer, which is this one. And this is the shade C1.65. Um, I get confused when they name their shades by numbers. Just put a name on it and that's it. It's just so confusing when they have numbers on them. So I'm going to be applying this as always on the center, like on the T-zone, just where I want to highlight. So also I want to mention I got a new puppy. Um, if you guys follow me on my snapchat you would see that i would put pictures and snaps of my little one we have a lot of names for her i i'll be showing her to you in a while maybe by the end of the video so you guys can see her and she's so cute she's so playful and we've been loving her so i'll show her guys to you at the end of the video Okay, so now I'm going to be setting my face and I have been loving the Jaclyn Hill. This is called the Brighten Up Luminous Powder. This is called the Luminous Powder and it's in the shade Brighten Up. She has a bunch of shades. I just got this one. It's a little, it looks a little bit, it looks a little bit pink. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that. It looks a little bit pink, but it just melts into your skin. You will not see the pink and... I like this because it gives a little bit like a shimmer 
I know a lot of people were confused because they thought it was a highlighter which because I thought they thought it was a highlighter because this was part of her highlight collection but it's actually a setting powder and it has like a little tiny like it's not glitter it's like like little sparkles that it makes your skin look so pretty so I just put a little bit like that all over my skin and then I go in with a brush and this is the Morphe Y1 brush and then I just grab some and just make sure everything is set especially your concealer so I like this powder because it doesn't make you look powdery your skin just looks glowing like it looks so pretty so I've been really liking this I just hate that this thing gets dirty so fast but um other than that the product is great I did not buy the other highlighters just because I thought it was too much for me I really don't like super blinding highlighters and the other palette I didn't get it because it was always sold out and I just never got to buy it so that's why I never got it but moving on I'm gonna be um, bronzing my skin and I've been using this for a while this is the Morphe bronzer and the shade icon and I'm gonna be using my bronzer brush oh my god I'm tired I don't know why I'm gonna be using my bronzer brush bronzer brush which is the m527 this is the morphe m527 i always use this for my bronzer so i'm going to be bronzing my skin on the temples i always get my temples right here So for my contour, I'm going to be using the Hula, the Benefit Hula Bronzer, and this is just the Hula Bronzer. I think it's the original one that they have, because I know they have like a bunch of shades already. So I'm just going to be bronzing a little bit right here. I really don't, I really don't contour that much anymore just right here on my cheeks and I definitely have to do my nose now that I have this I'm gonna be I'm gonna be applying my blush and I'm using the Tarte blush and this is in the shape party I have this I think it was like on a birthday gift that they gave you from Sephora a few years ago I am not sure if they still sell this by itself, but I love this shade. It's just so natural. So I'm going to be applying this. A highlighter. I'm going to be using the Anastasia Glow Kit. And as you guys can see, I use this a lot because it's one of my favorites. And I'm going to be using this highlighter brush. This is the Jeffree Star collaboration with Morphe. And it's the JS4. And I'm just going to be using these two shades right here. This is more like a pink shade. And this is more like a champagne -y pink. I like to mix both. And then just whoo, apply it right there. And also on the tip of my nose. So I'm going to go back to my eyes and I'm going to be doing my lower lash and I just wanted to do something super natural so I'm just going to be using this brush. This is a Morphe M455. It's just a pencil brush and I'm going to be going in with this lash shade that we use which is called Real Gar and I'm just going to be applying that on the bottom lash. And then going in with another brush, I'm just going to be buffing this. So now I'm going to be applying my eyeliner. And as always, I'm going to be using the Sephora Cold Liner in the shade Cocoa. And then for mascara, I'm going to be applying the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. This is my favorite mascara of all time. I'm going to be applying... My mascara applying false lashes and my eyebrows and i'll be right back okay so now that i have my lashes and eyebrows for my brows i use what i always use the anastasia brow definer and this is in the shade chocolate 
And for my lashes, I use the Lisa Lashes in the style Liz. So I have a coupon code for these. If you guys want to get this, I'll leave all the info in the bottom description with the coupon code that you guys can get. And now for my lips, I'm going to be lining my lips with the Kylie Cosmetics Lip Liner in the shade Autumn. I like to shade them in a little bit and then I'm gonna be going in with the Kylie Cosmetics liquid lipstick and this is in the shade low key and I'm gonna go I'm not gonna apply a lot I just like to apply a little bit just like that and then on top of that I'm going to be applying the Jeffree Star liquid lipstick in the shade Maniquee and I just like to apply this in the center just to make it look a little bit lighter. Just like that. And I'm going to be setting my entire face with the Morphe and Jeffree Star. This is their um, setting spray. It's exactly the same thing as the original one. It just has a strawberry scent to it and it smells so good. But it does... My mother-in-law is doing something. I don't know what she's doing, but she's banging. Um, so yeah, I was saying it's the same thing. It is the same thing. It just has a different smell, but it works the same. So that is it. This is it for the look. That highlighter looks so popping. I actually missed filming because I feel like I'm actually talking to you guys. So I really did miss this. So um, before we leave, let me go ahead and grab my dog so I can show her to you guys okay so are you guys ready to meet luna her name is luna here she is say hi luna look look at the camera look at the camera so this is luna right here <laughs> so she's a shih tzu oh no 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 don't lick mommy's makeup don't lick mommy's makeup so she's a Shih Tzu and she was gifted to me by my husband's cousin, which is literally my my cousin. So she was gifted to me on she was gifted to me on New Year's Day. That that was the day that I got her. And she now is going to be six months, I wanna say. And she's a Shih Tzu. Her name is Luna. And she's so cute. Look at her. Oh my god. You're such a cutie. She has a bunch of names. I call her Luna. My sister-in-law calls her Little One. My husband my husband calls her Mogria. And we have a bunch of names for her. Um, she gets along with my other dogs. Except for Roxy, which is a Chihuahua. They play but it's only when Roxy wants to and Onyx loves her she sleeps with Onyx and that's like her big brother so here she is my little one don't lick mommy makeup don't lick mommy's makeup she's real playful she bites a lot I think because she's still a puppy but she's so playful and she's so cute so I just wanted to show you her so I just wanted to show her guys to you just so you can see the new addition to our family right Luna? Right, so yeah this is her right here so that is it for this video you guys i hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope you guys are happy that i am back and i'm gonna try to film as much videos as i can now that we can go anywhere so yeah this is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it please make sure you subscribe to my channel before you leave and also please let me know in the comments down below what kind of videos you guys would like to see so yeah, this is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I will see you guys soon. Bye!